Hello, my splendid lot. It's Megagran here again with another episode from my series Building a Minecraft Zoo on Vintage Beef's Zower server. Now then, this tree is coming down. Only because I'm moving it a little bit further back in the enclosure, that's all. I am going to have this tree because I really, really like it. I'm hoping to get some more saplings with my fortune axe. And as you can see, it's nearly broken, so I've got to be very careful with it. I have a few jobbies to do before I can repair it. So, in today's episode then, what have we got? We've got another tour, so you'll have to stick around for that. I'm hoping to finish the main part of this enclosure in this episode. Although I won't finish everything, but you'll see what I mean as time goes on. And we keep an eye on our pregnant Kakapo, Valerie. And I'm also trying to make Freddy with Helen. Hmm. Although it's a bit difficult because I'm quite a long way from the Kakapo enclosure. So I don't think that is loaded while I'm uh, working on this. So we might not see anything spectacular in this episode. Right, well that took a while. Let me just get rid of these logs and see how many saplings we got. I did see one or two fall, but not quite sure. Have you another one over yet? Yep, I think so. I think that's it. Oh, five. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So I thought I'd try a fir and a pine sapling on either side of the cherry. So we'll see how that looks. So here we go with the pine. Let's have a look. Get a little bit of bone meal, see how much this takes to grow it. Hopefully it's not going to be a lot. Ooh, that was quicker than I thought. Nice. Nice size as well. Okay, now for the other one. We'll put this over... Can I put it... Uh, let's try it. There's no nothing overhanging, is there? We'll try it here. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on! No? Well, maybe not then. Okay, I tried that everywhere. We've gone for yellow spruce. Oh, that's better. Straight away. Right, let's go and have a look, what, see what that looks like. Whoops, a daisy. There we go. Oh, those are okay, aren't they? I quite like the different in heights and the different colours of the leaves, so that's quite good. So we'll try the cherry over there then. Right then, uh, let me see. I think over here by this bamboo, um, probably... Could I do it on the top here? Uh, what about on this one? I don't know if it'll grow there, actually. Let's have a go. Okay, here goes. Oh, it did! Oh, let's have a look. Yeah, I quite like that. They're like little um, lollipops, aren't they? <laughs> Let's have a look over here. Oh, yeah, that's quite good. I quite like that. Yeah. Oh, these bamboos are a bit high. I'll have to knock those down. Don't, didn't want them that high. Right then, I want to put some of the yellow bamboo around the enclosure as well. Now, it's the, pa the great panda's favourite food, so I hope it doesn't go nibbling on these. I don't think it will do. I am going to put some in their food bowls, so they will have lots of yellow bamboo, as well as the other bamboos as well, just for a bit of variety. I'm just going to sprinkle this around a bit. Put some more over here, I think. Let's see. I want it at different heights as well. There we go. It's quite nice. And I'm going to put some black bamboo in as well. Where can I put that? Um, shall I put a bit here? Looks the same as the yellow, doesn't it, actually? Maybe it all looks the same when you first plant it. I'll have to get rid of that. There we go. Good, good, good. And I think I'll have a bit over here as well. Just a little bit round. Oh, I nearly put it on top of the leaves, but it won't go on there. I'll put it there. There we go. I think that's probably enough bamboo for now. I'm adding a bit of path in now because the panthers will get around and they'll wa wear some of this grass down, I think. So it wants to look it wants to look a little bit like it's a bit worn out. Uh, oh, this is a bit of a tight corner there, isn't it? Let me take one of those out. There we go. Can I... Oh, I still can't. I'm going to have to jump up to get over it. Shall I take that one out as well? Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Okay, then. We'll take that one out as well. And do some more pathing up here. I think I'll introduce some coarse dirt as well. Let's start with up here, seeing as I'm up here. There we go. I'm thinking I want a little bit more colour in here. I am going to add some flowers a bit later, but I'm thinking of the cherry log laid down on its side because that is quite bright and I quite like that colour. It's very sort of oriental and pandas, you know, so yeah. Let's see, can I put another one up there? 
And what about there? And what about the other side? Put one there. Oh, I might have, might have another one there, actually. Two. And one here. That's it. Now, I think that might be it. For now. Now then, I need another of these logs. So I'm just going to plant this here. I'll have to chop it down later because I think... Yes. It's a big tree. Right, I wanted to try some logs underneath this edge in here just to see how it looks to break up that green at the back no i can't say another different color log goes i think that would look a lot better with strip mahogany underneath there keep it the same color so i'm just changing that over and we'll strip it and then i need this bit in here as well there we go let's have a look see what that looks like yeah this is the way to go i have been worried about this green wall i think it's coming together with all the other things in the enclosure i think it's doing okay now i really must repair my axe and i'm fed up of standing at that spider spawner so i'm going to take the easy way and not the cheapest way i might add and i'm just going to add some diamonds in the anvil in fact, I'm going to add four diamonds, which is a lot more expensive than making a new axe, but it did have a lot of enchants on it, so I'm happy with that. Now, just checking in. I'm just having another little go with Freddy and Helen. No, nope, not this time. Right, let's have a look where we got to now. We need some more colour in there, and... Oh, that bamboo over there has gone a bit out of... Uh, yeah, out of control. I need to sort that out. Right, I think I'll chop it just a little bit lower than what I want it because I want to to have some of the greenery on the end now for a bit of string and that should stay just like that oh it makes all the difference I think well, I'm gonna let the panda out now I know I haven't completely finished but I can't wait any longer <gasps> there he is look isn't he gorgeous right let's tame him oh <gasps> straight away with one Let's have a look. Uh, a kin dynasty giant panda. Responsibility of me. Oh, that's a big responsibility now I've tamed him. Uh, he has 24 health. Fertility 1. Is that low? I think that's low. And his favourite food is yellow bamboo. Oh, he looks, he looks quite at home. He looks quite happy. <laughs> oh, listen to that noise. Oh, my goodness. Right, did I put some yellow bamboo in here? Uh, let me see. Let's see. Yeah, there is some in there. There's all sorts of bamboos in there, actually. But yellow's the favourite, so I better put more of that in. I need to cater for his enrichment as well. Ooh, you're doing a lot of jumping up and down there. And I need to put some glass in those viewing areas at the back. So that's two more little jobbies I should have done before he went in, but never mind. Right then, let's get on with this enrichment. Uh, I've got some scented balls. Uh, I'll put one over here, I think. Where shall I put it? I'll put it there. Oh, he's looking at it. Oh, he's not. Okay, we'll put the other one over here. That's it. Uh, what else? I've got some apple ice treats. I'll just put a couple of these in. Put one there. And over here, maybe. There we go. Right, I'm, getting, I'm trying to get this glass in right quick now. But every time I move, he moves as well. Still stuff in his face as well, which I suppose is a good thing. I'm sure his hunger will come up at some stage. Come on then, panda, out the way. I'll be glad when you get a name, because I'm fed up calling you panda. Let's have a look. There, and... Budge over, budge over. Let me get that in. There we go. I'm doing some digging and hanging around where he is, just to see if that will help with his hunger. I have put water bowls down. I know he would need water anyway, but that didn't seem to be a problem. So we'll see. So I'll check him again when I've done a bit more digging and I've been around him a while to see if his hunger and enrichment goes up. Right, I've been digging for a little while, so I've come to have a look and see what is happening in the data book. But his hunger's still down, so I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, let me put some more of this in. Um, I'm growing this in my bamboo farm now, uh, the yellow stuff instead of the uh, green stuff. 
and I've got a lot of the green bamboo already so it shouldn't matter that I've changed it over there you go <laughs> come on you can carry on stuffing yourself you've got to get your hunger up yeah it still hasn't gone up and the enrichment enrichments as well that should be going up I think right I'm hoping by bringing the centre ball a bit closer it might help with his enrichment I don't know how close it's got to be no well it hasn't made any difference yet so I'm not quite sure how long they've got to be there well it's got everything I can't do any more we'll just have to leave him and see right that's the second window I've exposed I've got the cords for all the windows so if I check the cords and do a bit of digging I should be able to make this tunnel all the way around I think anyway so right let's see if we can find the third tunnel I think it should be just yeah just here so this is the third one and this is a diagonal one so I'm gonna open this out nice and this is the last tunnel and I think yep it's here right I'm just gonna light these up all the way along uh, let's see yeah, as I was saying earlier, I really don't know what design I'm doing for in here yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to decorate it with. I might use that pine. So, yeah, we'll see. There we go. But at least it's dug out now, so that's good. I need to design some sort of entrance for this bit here, probably with the mahogany wood for a, um, a roof. And I'm thinking I should have one on this side as well, actually. Yeah, I think I will. There we go. That didn't take long, did it? <laughs> now then, let's see what's happening here. They're all still huddled together. I think it's because I'm not around here, you know. But we're going to try and make them again. Hmm. No. Right then, I'm going to add a bit more colour with a few flowers in there, I think. I'm just going to get a selection out of my box and just dot them around. I don't know what that horse is doing. There we go. I think the inside of that has finished. I'm quite happy with that. I just need to do the viewing area around the back, but I'll be doing that another time because I haven't got time to fit that into this episode. Right, let me see if I can get up on this tree because I need to chop some wood and I need some leaves. And while I'm doing this, I think it's a good time to have another tour. And in this episode, we're gonna have a little tour of Hello Cross's zoo. He's still building it, but he has several exhibits that are ready to be viewed. So let's go and take a look. Now Crossy couldn't VC today, so we're not going to have any verbal interaction, but I'm sure we'll manage. So first we've got the Arctic area. We've got polar bears, snow leopards, eagles and foxes. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, I think I can see a boomer ball there. Those are the big balls. Uh, let me see. Oh, that is so nice. Those polar bears look so at home in there. They obviously like it in the water. <laughs> nice, got a nice mix of things in there. Uh, this must be, oh, I can see eagles over there. I can see perches. Oh, and it's covered with wire mesh as well to keep them in. I should have done that with my flamingos, you know. I went far too high. I might actually change that in the future. But this is so nice. Yeah. 
I like that on there. Hmm, very nice. What's he saying? The eagles are in the house. Yes, I can see. They look very much at home there as well. Very good. Nice. Oh, that was a noise. Okay, what we got in here? Uh, oh, I can see. It's an arctic fox. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, look, it's coming over. <laughs> nice. Oh, that is so nice. That enclosure is a nice enclosure as well. Wow. <laughs> now then, what's this one? Uh, let's see. I wonder if this thing must be the snow leopards, mustn't it? Oh yes, look, I can see a head and map art. This is the snow leopard enclosure. Oh, that map art's gorgeous as well. It's massive. Oh, that must have taken a lot of work. Oh my goodness. Let's have a look, see if I can spot one. Oh, over there. Oh, there is a few. Oh, that's nice. And a few over there. <laughs> oh, and one down there, look. I can see one down there. I'm just saying he's got a few animals in there. But they all look right at home in there anyway. Gosh, that is huge. That must have taken a lot of work. But it works really well. Right, now this is the African enclosure. And, oh, I can see giraffes. Oh, I love these colours. I really do. <laughs> oh, and there's zebras at the back there. And that's a good combination because you find them together in the savannah anyway, don't you? So that's nice. That works really well. Oh, is that a baby in there? Oh no, it's just down a block. Oh, and here we've got mandrills. They all look quite happy in there, don't they? Nice. They're quite home in there. What? You only put three mandrels in there? Well, there's four in there now. <laughs> Somebody must have snuck one in or one was pregnant. <laughs> nice. Oh, a lovely pond around this side. I do like ponds. Some climbing frames there. Nice. And what we got over here? Lions. Oh, that is such a nice enclosure. Look at all that block work at the back there. That so suits their, their environment, I think. Wow. That is a nice enclosure. That is so nice. Oh, what's that up there? Oh, we've got some uh, some fencing up there. I think that's a bird of some description. Looks like it's this way. Oh, a nice view viewing area. This is nice and big and open as well. That's nice. And there's a lovely bit of building here. I understand that this was all built. This wasn't a natural overhang or anything. Lovely. Oh, look at that little garden there. Right, we're going along to the tropical area now, I think. This looks interesting. Dying to see what's in here. Ah, okay. Ooh! Oh my goodness! <laughs> that made me jump. No, you can't come in here, horsey! Oh! <laughs> There's animals everywhere. Oh, this is nice. Oh, that it looks quite open, but there is there is actually coverage, isn't there? It's got mesh. This looks like birds. We've got macaws there. I'll take your. All oh, right then. Yeah, I'll, I shall. Uh, I shall wander around and have a look then. Let's have a look up here. Ah, there's mostly birds on this side. There's parrots over there, and there's macaws as well. Nice. 
I love how these things everywhere. This is such a great space, it really is. Been hard work, I can imagine it has. I can imagine. Spider monkey's in there as well. Uh, let's go around this side. Oh yes, I know this map art very, very well. I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. Oh, this area is lovely as well. Uh, what have we got in here? Uh, oh, giant... Is, are those giant pandas at the back there? Let's have a look. Whoops, it is. Uh, yep, they are. They're giant pandas. I love how everything's so spacious and roomy. That is really nice. It's a nice space. It really is. Look at all these birds out here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Oh. Oh, I'm just asking with all the water, has he had any accidents with his animals? And nope, luckily not. That's good. Oh, an aquarium. Oh, I like how this stands up. And he's above the ground. Instead of having to look down. That is nice. <laughs> oh, quite a mix of fish in there as well. More flamingos. Nice. Ooh, I think we're almost round back to the beginning. What we got here? Oh, cacapos! My most favourite. My absolute favourite. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, they look lovely in there. It's a nice enclosure. A nice exhibit. Oh, and we've got mandrills here as well. Nice. Oh! <laughs> Flamingo. Wow. Oh, that's been a lovely walk around. I've really enjoyed that. It really captures the essence of the jungle. Uh, tropical, it has a real tropical feel to it. That's been really, really enjoyable. Yeah, I did like it very much, Crossy. Eh? <laughs> All right, then, see you later. Thank you. Gosh, people's exhibits are so different yet so suited to the animals. It's amazing how many different types of exhibits you can see, and they're all so wonderful. And people have worked so hard on them. Oh, it's it's awesome. I'm in, so enjoying the, the tours that I'm including in my series. But I haven't got anybody else lined up for another tour yet, so I should be looking for some more zoos to have a look at. Now then, I must apologise for the lateness of this episode. I usually like to get them out on a Friday morning, but it isn't always possible. Like this week, I've doubled up on all my episodes for all my series this week because we're going away next week, so I won't be here to edit or upload. But I've been working super hard this week so that there'll be an episode from each of my series every day next week. And the next is our episode will be next Friday, of course. So talking of next week's episode, we are going to be building two small exhibits for... Well, I wonder if you can guess... I'll leave that to you to guess in the comments. And, quite by chance, I came across a fantastic area for finding snow leopards, so I shall show you that next week. I also have devastating news about our kakapo. So, be sure to watch next week's episode. So, if you're enjoying the series, let me know with a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done already for more content like this. And be sure to turn notifications on so that you don't miss a thing. So take care everybody and I'll see you in next week's episode. Bye bye.